the first is, this is I think this is um good for fate. No. On paper. Paper, yes. On paper, yes. Well, you never know. Multiple projectiles blowing up clone, but the low profile of the slide will get in. You have to be when 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 learning matchups. Most people lock into one specific thing that can happen and say, "Oh, because that it has to be a six four. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I do think it's a six four fate though. Sako choosing to go with Sub Zero. We'll get the ice clone throw. Nice first hit. It's definitely take the initiation. Initiation. Look at the command grab. Hard knockdown coming in. Throws the ice clone. Eats the projectile. Push into the corner, drops the combo though, still got a pretty uh, good amount of that. Nice slide to close out the life bar. Sako near perfect. Yeah, Only this ship. Makes you shiver. Yeah, I can't find a way to fade from that except for getting right back to the range. Fade has a lot of options. That now with that, that takes away the interactable. Oh, yeah. So he cannot use that gurney until that uh, that that little uh, blue spot is gone. Manages to catch the toes on the meter burn freeze. 4-3, good cancel though. Noticing that that orb would have blown him up. No anti-cross. She's gonna stay safe. Good block of the overhead. And a 1-1-2 to come in. The overhead catching out. Gonna push it. Coming in. Hard knockdowns. Gonna use that clone. Throws it. Keeps him into the corner. Projectiles doing damage. Oh, but this, why? This, is, this is a desperation super. The desperation super is right. Overhead does not get blocked. Orbs coming out. Onk set up. Sokka with the slide under projectile. Onk to wake up. Spending the bar. No punish there. Good air to air exchange from Hootie. This yeah. is where he needs to be in the corner. But Sako managing to get out with a jump three. Goes for the ice hammer. Yes. But gets blown up for it. Orb comes in. And the meter burn. He could go with that into the back three. Stage straight. Oh, Somebody drops it for the okay, win. Okay. And the oh, ice ball in the back yeah. three. And Sako going to take a convincing game number one. Yeah. I feel like it came down to the first and right. Sub-Zero wins. Yeah, it gave it gave Sako that first little bit of momentum and just rolled with it. Yeah, and he's using the clone to effectively as almost a shield and a projectile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well played. Sako taking that first game. He just choose to jump. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of an anti-air to come in, but Sako gonna capitalize with that clone. Up in these combos though, into trying to get those command grabs. Little tricky juggles in a command grab. Kind of got a clone on an anti-air, but a free jump in for Hootie Hoot. Meter burn projectiles, avoiding all of it. No meter to make that hurt though. Clone now has that meter and there's a jump in punish. Good projectile punish from Hootie Hoot. Good blocks. Sako, nice. Anti-air though, coming in from Hootie Hoot. Gonna get back, almost a full screen, but Sako closing that gap. Ice clone, I think if he would've left it there, it would've worked out a little bit better. Good blocks the overhead and that's a clone blow up. Yeah, this is definitely... Does he, he doesn't use the stage bounce to continue the combo extra damage. Yeah, who is being predictable right What now? a read from Sako. Meter burn yeah. freeze. Absorbing the clone. Going for a slide, though. Not trying to get that corner pressure for some reason. Meter burn. Realizes he doesn't have to block. Night and health. And that should do it. Yeah. Um, Blowing up the wake up. I think Hootie's being a bit predictable, predictable in a way. Just, just wake up, then his, his um, entrance, his, um, yeah. His approach, yeah. His approach. His jump-ins, he's got to stop doing that, but he activates trait. Orb and to blow yeah, up. This is, this is the perfect time he needs his own right now. He's just getting all this. Oh, he blows up, and the meter waste yeah. with the plus. He's going to take that first leg. Yeah, but his trait's gone now. He doesn't have that momentum with that um, other upgrade for the top, so. Trait's just about back. A 4-3 meter burn with the armor. Does he freeze? He will. He needs clash. What is he going to do? He's going to go with the string instead of a back three. I, I like it. Just the clash. Get it out of here. Now all this momentum can be applied. No stop. No holds bar. Now expect a good block of the overhead. Great punish, but no continuance. Going out, and that's a punish. Yeah, Welcome he, to Mortal Kombat, says Sako, and a trade with the meter for freeze a scale though. This is gonna scale immensely. Yeah. The projectile gonna blow that up. Still has access to the clone. Avoids a projectile. Great presence of the meter burn four and three. And I keep saying that that's the fourth four, but that's from uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. There is no fourth four in this game. Yeah, I have such a hard time commentating Sub Zero because I call it Mortal Kombat X style. Right. Okay. <laughs>
So I feel like um. You can basically say if you want. No forward forward. Captain Cold. I feel like in this match, um, Fighters approaching when you Atlanta. sub zero, he's putting Dr. Fate out of his comfort zone. He, he wants to get those onks in. He wants to, you know, get his all of his projectiles and his orbs going. Get those setups going. Tell me. Setups. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. And then when you're and when he goes past that that one zone, which is basically almost half a screen, and he's just. He's out of comfort zone. He can't do much, can't do much about it. Right. He's, yeah. gonna, he's gonna be much more. He's gonna um, predict the blending test and go in for the glyphs. Okay. Meter Burns coming in. Hoodoo finding himself a little bit of comfort in this matchup. Full screen gonna send out Orb. Try and lock him down. No anti air coming in. Doesn't block the overhead. Interactable does get blown up because of invincibility. No anti airs again coming in from Sako. It's such a good down two. That is a full oh. punish. Setting out the health on. Gonna spin the meter burn. Invincibility. Good block of the overhead. Sako come back now with all the momentum from these plus frames. Yeah, Sako's definitely got the momentum here. And he, if he can get up to the second bar, this it can almost be game over for Fate. Well, Fate's locking him down, not letting him get that uh, level 2 trade. Good block yeah. of the overhead. We'll catch him out with a 1 2. Gonna set it up. Ooh, okay. But Sako is gonna eat that, that little Ankh wake up. Yeah, I feel like he's doing that. Every single time. Almost a trip guard there from Sako. Good block of the overhead will catch and out, and it should be the light bar set. Light bar now. Four dose of Sock. So if he can nice keep down two. Set, really. but down two. That's chip damage over time. And freezing. We'll send out another one. Good wake up though from Hootie. There's a shoulder charge to advance in, but we'll get stuffed out. Peterburn 4 3 was dirty. No crash though coming in from Hootie. The meter burn does get blown up from multiple hits. Yes, this, is, this is almost desperation right now. He no, needs no, this is more. This is not even close to desperation. Booty who's still in this yeah. big time has a meter. He will spend it now. No anti air coming in from Sako. Good block of the overhead. But that's a punish. Oh, and that's oh. a clash. No meter. Sako. <laughs> Sako can make this hurt and put him almost in a chip territory. Yeah, that's, that's dangerous, very dangerous to clash like that. 15%, yeah, 16 damage. Clash it though, he was gonna die from from, uh, from damage. Anyway, Sako, still not out of this is pretty. <laughs> and we'll yeah. get anti here though, and a 3-0 from Sako, AKA like most improved player in our team. Yeah, that's a, 